Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my horsey wife, Laura. I'm here with my racing husband, Nathan. And we're here to look at the Milton Bradley board game, Horse Stakes. Sort of a board game. Not yeah. really. Not really a board in it. No, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game by Milton Bradley, who make board games. Yes. And uh, the Melbourne Cup, if you're in Australia or local to Melbourne, um, it's coming up. Uh, nay. Yes. So we thought we would do... Our only board game that has anything to do with horses, I think. <laughs> and obviously it's a gambling game, so if you're not into sort of gambling or anything like that... Yep, then... if that's something you just don't want to see, then um, maybe go watch something else on the channel just for this video. But careful. What does that say there? Oh, it's a bit hard to see on camera, sorry. It says, warning, too much laughter can seriously damage your health. Sure. Uh, so, <clears throat> basically it is a racing game you want to get from the start to the finish line um but it, that's not what it's necessarily like you don't win by getting to the end no it um i guess it would play similar to if you're actually putting bets on a real horse which is why we <clears> had <throat> our little warning about gambling at the start so basically <laughs> before you start you have to calculate the odds of each horse winning mm -hmm. and then there are hazards during the the match and a lot of it's race. Quite, uh, match, yeah, race <laughs> a lot of it's um chance you draw a card over and, and hopefully it's the card you need for that horse to continue. Yes. Uh, and so the winner of the game is basically the person who doesn't lose all their money. So um, you're out of the game when you run out of money. Um, as there's only two of us, that probably won't take too long. Because we'll probably bet big so that we're not here too long for yeah. you. Or possibly just one game. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well, we still have the plastic. There's a bit of hair there. That's a bit weird. That doesn't come with it. <clears throat> no. So you get this little plastic case which contains everything uh, and you also get a very long set of instructions and I don't mean they take a long time to read just the length of the paper yeah, I'm just busy breaking it oh great well it's meant to come apart <laughs> so one of these pieces is our start and the other is our finish so you race from one to the other so we actually will have to set it up a bit differently so it'll actually be like this so you can actually go from one end to the other. Yeah, so hopefully you can see it okay. What's that Mario Party that? mini game called? Day at the Races, I think it was. Oh yeah, that was a good one. This is what this game reminds me of. <laughs> yeah. So we have a green, yellow, red, and blue player. And they're very, very say. sickly horses. Let me see if I can. Yeah, they're not the happiest of horses, especially this one, the poor I'm green guy. Not entirely sure. I feel comfortable. I mean, that's got red eyes like a bull. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Alright, then on the <coughs> other side, we have binoculars, which you, you can are meant take... to take out of here. Oh, yeah, they're really stuck. Yeah. Ugh. So that is where you put your money when you've placed a bet, and it's also... I was going to say your colour, but that's not right, because there's four horses. Never mind. <clears throat> Alright, do you want to show the picture on It's the same those? picture on each one, just different just colour. Different colour, yeah. So I think that's the finish line, and this is the... Starting well, that makes line. Sense. It's in the starting gate. And do you want to get the cards out? They are in oh, behind yeah. here. So they sort of slide out. It's a very neat little like um, system they've got. It's a very compact way of doing it, which I like. So you could take this travelling, I guess, if you really wanted to. So here are all like the cards which handle odds and whether or not um, a horse can continue a race. Yep. Uh, then we <coughs> have our very small money here. So that is. Ooh, sorry, $10. It's, it's baby money. Um, they only come in the one value. And, and we then... have flags, which calculate odds. Well, which... so they, that's the way of marking sorry, the yes. odds after the odds have been created. Let's just see if I can even get the focus. There is, it's sort of um, embossed, the odds. So yes, that's it's three, three to four, one. Three to one, there's a two to one. They are really hard to read. Yes, yeah. they are. So we're just going to set up, and then as we play, we'll explain the rules. Ooh, exciting. Well, that was certainly interesting trying to find enough space in our small <laughs> filming table, but yeah. we did it. Yeah, uh, so we've got our start line all the way over the back there. Our finish line right up front, which you can only see kind of part of. Um, I'm going to be purple binoculars. I'm going to be Mr. White. <laughs> so we've also got then uh, $100, so 10, $10 notes. Um, you can bet as much or as little as you want on each round. Um, just for the purpose of this, we'll probably bet everything just to, yeah, I mean, to speed it along. Once you sort of play it once, you pretty much can get it every single time afterwards. It's, it's very simple, but normally you would just keep playing in rounds until we, someone runs out of money. it's similar to poker, you can bet a little or a lot. And yeah. Then, hmm. Well, gambling, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny how that works. Alright, so down here we've lined up the length of eight 
cards because that's the distance of I the racetrack. Furlongs, you'd be. I mean, I'm not very. Sure, I'm why not? not? Very hip with my <laughs> my horse racing terms, but I think they're, they're furlongs. <laughs> Me either. So. In the fifth and the seventh row, there are hazards, which are two different um, jumps. <laughs> uh, well, they've got specific names, I think, down They this do, game. and I have to look those up. Hang on. Uh, they are called the Watery Grave, is this one. Uh, and then the second jump is Houdini's Hurdle. So basically, they act as, I guess, stop gaps. So you turn over the card, and depending on what's on the card, which we'll show you when we play... Uh, it'll either be a pass, the horse makes it, or a fail, the horse doesn't make it, and that horse is out of the race. Yeah, so you don't want that to happen to the horse you've bet on. So the way <clears> the <throat> odds are calculated is the bookie, who's the person with the cards and the money, which is going to be me just for the Mwah. purpose of this, yes. <laughs> starts to turn over the race cards. So these ha not race cars, race cards. Cards. <laughs> no cars involved. Uh, so these have pictures of each of the different coloured horses. So green, yellow, red, and blue. And we turn these over... And put in front of the horses near the start line until we have at least three cards, or we still we have until we have three cards on one of them, and yes. then we calculate and the, the odds and from then that. Once the three cards are placed down, then you calculate the odds based on the rest of the cards left and the other ones. Right. So we have a green, so that can go there. Ooh, Ooh another green. green. We didn't do this on purpose, <clears throat> by the way. We actually did shuffle these. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. And red. Red. Oh, some yeah, help there. yeah, I've hurt my shoulder, so Nathan can Whoa. assist. <laughs> then we have, oh, another red. And it's going to be a close one with the odds. Uh, yellow. yellow. Oh, blue. blue. <laughs> and green. So now green has three. So we stop doing that and work out the odds and put our little flags in. So the green will be the odds <clears throat> on favourite. Because three. that's good. So the horse with the most cards. Do you want to try and find the right... The horse with the most cards is the favourite because yes. he's further along in the race. Uh, so it'll be so two to one, I yep. think, is the highest. So, three. so the, the flags they sort of just sit at the, in at the end, the stand. <laughs> yes, endeth the finish line. So our green horse is the favourite. So it gets, well, I can't talk tonight. Favourite, oh, favourite gets the two to one odds. Uh, anything with one or two cards has three to one odds, so, which is going to be all the others. Yeah. So um, it's pretty pretty even. Uh... Yeah, even field. Um, if we had had no cards on one of them, then that would have been a five to one odds. And there's enough flags for whatever. And the good thing you is, get. it's not unlike real horse racing. Their odds has no bearing on their chance to win. So not really. <laughs> no, generally, if a horse has very low odds. As I'm aware, in horse racing, it means they don't have a very good chance to win. This one, I mean, yes, they are further along, but as you can see, the field's not no. that different. So, from here, we place our bet. So, I'm going to put all my money, as we said, Me just too. to... Gambling oh. my hard-earned $10 <laughs> away. Well, there's 100 there. Oh. You put it in your binoculars in the middle. Oh, right, so they, they slide but in. But who are you there. betting on? I'm going to bet on blue, because blue goes faster. All right, I'm going to go for red. So you put your bet for that round in there, and then here we go Start with flipping. the cards. So Nathan's going to be going, flip, go flip, blue! Flip, 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 flip. We have green. green. Who are you betting for again? I went for red. Red. Yeah. Okay. So you can actually put these here if you want to kind of make it easier to know who's who, but obviously there's only two of us. So, so it's very easy to keep track, I hope. <laughs> I hope so too. So green is at the hurdle. What's he going to get? So... Clears the jump. Ooh, a bit blurry, sorry. As you can see, the horse is over the hedge. He's cleared the jump. Beautiful. So. Well, not for us at all. Well, no. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Green, and then the horse has cool. cleared the jump. <laughs> this is not going well for us. No. And then, um, green. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to have one more go? So the race is over. <laughs> And neither of us won anything, so... The money goes to the, um, the, the bookie, and since we both don't have any, the game would technically be over. And if we wanted to play, obviously, we'd start a new one. So, just to show you a different outcome, how about we pull out all the coloured ones, and we'll just set up again and do another round. Alright, I've given the horse cards a significant shuffle. <laughs> yes. Um, the hazards have had a reshuffle and been put back in place. Um, we've taken all of our odds off, because we need to do those again. Alright, so... So hopefully this time, you know, we don't just go all green. <laughs> green. Okay, Good not start. off to a great start. Not off to a green start, you mean. No. 
yellow, blue, mm, pretty even again so far, green, red, red. okay, red, <laughs> right, yellow, wow they're all going to be the same at this rate, yellow, alright, so yellow is going to be our odds on favourite with two to one, and then everything else is going to have, again, three to three one. Three to one. So, we just put our flags in. Hopefully you can right. just see those there. I'm, for some reason, betting all my money again. <laughs> so normally, obviously, in a longer game, you probably wouldn't put all your money on the horse, because otherwise it would be a very quick game. But anyway, right. let, let's hope it goes a bit better this time. I'm going to go for Racing Red. I am going to go for the Favourite Yellow. Favourite Yellow. All yep. right. Here we go. Green... Okay. Blau. Mm. Red. Who do you have for red? Red. Yeah. Blue. Blue. Ooh. Yellow. Dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun. Clear the hurdle or the jump. Yay! This red. is going well for me. Oh, the riders in the water, the jockeys in the it's water. It's actually a little hard to see. I didn't know what I was looking at. I thought it was like a duck. It's not a duck. So the, so the red horse can no longer participate. Well, he has no rider, so, so you are out. So red just gets dumped. You're out, Nathan. I am out. Oh, dear. Blue. Okay. Blue has cleared the jump. Yay. Yellow. Wait, I didn't go for blue. Why am I saying yay? Because <laughs> you went for blue last time. Oh, I'm yellow over. Yellow has cleared the jump. One more yellow and yellow wins. Green. Green, Green has cleared the jump. Mm. Now, this would have been a really exciting way to start. <laughs> green. Okay. Green has cleared the jump. Ooh, green and yellow are in the mix. Red. Oh, is has fallen, remember? Oh yeah. He has no jockey. Blue. <laughs> Blue. Wow. Imagine watching this sort of race in real life. It'd be pretty close. Especially when you how close how quick I am flipping cards. <laughs> <gasps> Yay! Yellow. So I win! My horse got to the finish line and you failed at the first hurdle. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I think there's only, there's two of the um, fail hurdle cards. And you had them both. <laughs> That's very good timing. So red was out, out, and out. <laughs> Never a chance. So what we would do here, um, say we hadn't bet all of our money, Nathan would hand his over to, well, to himself, because he was the bookie for that round, and he would be out of the game. So if we had more players, then they keep it would go until... on with another round. Um, for me, because I bet on the odds on favourite, I get two times back. So I put in my what, thousand, thousand so my hundred. Yeah, hundred. Yeah. My hundred. Sorry, not so my you thousand. Should theoretically get two hundred. Two hundred. Um. So and that and that's how it goes. So again, if we had someone else to play, then I would have two hundred to bet going to the next round, so on and so forth down the line. Mm. Um. It's a pretty simple one, but as you can see, it can either be a close race or really, really quick. Or like a, a white The green like the one and the one. first one. Yeah. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below um, if you like watched the Melbourne Have you Cup. Even heard of this game? This was made in 1995, and I've seen almost no information online about it. Hmm. Oh well, yeah. Let us know that, and yeah, Melbourne Cup. I'm not particularly into it. Neither am I. But let us know. I know a lot of people love it and go along and get dressed up and or watch it on the TV and they have some all drinkies. That. Yep. Press that subscribe button. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.